This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. A simple X264 tweak in OBS, which can make a big difference. Posted by you slash Eliotna. Three years ago. Hi everyone. Some background on me. I'm an IT video engineer and have tinkered quite a lot with the X264 encoder in the past few years. There is one default setting that is set way too low in most X264 preset frames. In short, a B-frame is a bidirectional frame that allows the encoder to take advantage of both the previous and next frame, making the compressed B-frame way less costly in terms of bits than a more traditional P-frame, predicted frame, or I-frame, intra-frame. Back to that frame setting, this one controls how many consecutive B-frames the encoder is allowed to output before switching back to AP or I-frame. In all presets except ultra fast, slash slower, slash very slow, slash placebo, that frame setting is set to 3. However, in most cases, especially video games, it's not rare to see X264 sometimes use up to 5 to 6 consecutive frames if you crank up the setting. Cherry on the cake, increasing it isn't that costly on performance. For example, here's the stats output when encoding some LOL footage with frames equals 8. Consecutive B frames, 2.8%, 0.8%, 2.5%, 6.4%, 42.3%, 22.9%, 12.4%, 1.3%, 8.4%. What this means is that 2.8% of the time, zero consecutive frames were used, 0.8% of the time, one consecutive frame was used, etc. As you can see, the encoder used four frames 42.3% of the time and five frames 22.9% of the time. Had you used the default frames equals three, this is what you would have gotten. Consecutive B frames. 1%, 0.9%, 2.9%, 93 .1%. The performance penalty for using frames equals 8 over frames equals 3, preset faster, was 3,6% slower, but the quality for the same bit rate is really much better. As a result, here's my OBS config which enables this. HTTP colon slash slash I dot imager dot com slash SSHGYVD dot PNG. As you can see I'm only using up to five consecutive frames since too many can create issues on playing devices. It's still a great improvement over three. Feel free to test higher values and ask your viewers for feedback on playing slash buffering. Also, use at least preset faster if your computer allows it, since it enables settings that work great with frames. Last note, the more static your game is, Hearthstone for example, the more impact this setting will have on quality. This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed, on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love